Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to another Season 8 League of Legends Champion Guide. Today, I'll be covering mid lane Zillion, the Chrono Keeper. Time flies like an arrow, fruit flies like banana. Zillion's a champion with some very high poke damage and great movement speed. He can use his Time Bomb ability to do some really annoying harassment, and he can use his E as well to move around the lane really quickly and dodge skill shots. This can also do a really strong slow as well, making landing your bombs a lot easier. Landing two bombs with your rewind will also do a really nice AoE stun combo. This can be exceptionally strong in team fights if you can stun an entire team. It can give your team a huge advantage. He's also got a really strong ultimate that can save either himself or his allies, and his passive also allows him to give experience in case somebody is behind. Now Zillion, however, is a very squishy champion. We will be rushing a Rod of Ages to help get some early tankiness, but in the later stages of the game, you will be very, very squishy. Now Zillion is also a skill shot reliant champion. If you're not able to land your bombs on the enemy, you will not be able to stun them, and your damage will pretty much be non-existent. Then finally, Zillion's a champion that requires some really solid reaction time. Squishy champions can die really, really quickly, and if you're not able to save them with your ultimate, you may have a big disadvantage in the upcoming teamfight. For your runes, you want to go for Sorcery and Inspiration, grabbing Summon Airy as your keystone. This will send Airy to the target you're attacking whenever you hit them with your attack or your abilities, which will make them do just a little bit more damage. You'll then want to go for Mana Flow Ban just to increase your maximum mana, and then go for Transcendence afterwards for 10% cooldown reduction whenever you reach level 10. You'll then want to finish up Sorcery by getting Gathering Storm so you get increasing amounts of AP as the game progresses. You could of course go for Scorch as well to increase your harassment, but usually you will get a lot more from Gathering Storm. Now as for that inspiration side, I like to go for Magical Footwear and Cosmic Insight. Magical Footwear is really nice because you will get free boots at 10 minutes which will save you just a little bit of gold, and Cosmic Insight is great as well because you get 5% CDR and Summoner Spell cooldown reduction as well. In really hard matchups you may want to go for Resolve instead of Inspiration and get Bone Plating, but it's up to you. Now as for my Summoner Spells, I first of course like to pick up Flash. Although Zillion does have some pretty decent mobility from his E ability, Flash still gives you a really solid escape and can save you in a lot of different situations. You can of course also use this offensively as well and get towards an enemy to pull off your stun combo. Now as for that second summoner spell, usually I will go for teleport. This is really solid because Zillion has some really strong roams and ganks, and of course if he does get pushed out of lane, he will be able to make it back really quickly. You could always go for a combat summoner spell like ignite or exhaust as well, but usually I go for teleport. Now let's look at your abilities starting with your passive, Time in a Bottle. Zillion will generate between 2 and 12 experience that does not count towards his level up every 5 seconds. When the amount stored is enough to level up an allied champion and Zillion has been out of combat for at least 10 seconds, he can right click the target to initiate a 1 second channel and give them experience. This will level up the target and grant Zillion the stored amount as experience of his own. So this here is a decent passive because you will be able to give some of your allies experience and level them up, however this will do nothing for you in the mid lane and it does nothing combat oriented whatsoever. This means until you actually start grouping with your teammates and you're nearby to give them experience, this will do pretty much nothing for you in the early game. Just stack up that experience and use it when you can. Now let's look at your Q ability, Time Bomb. When activated, you'll throw out a ticking Time Bomb to the target location that detonates after 3 seconds and deals magic damage to surrounding enemies. This ability will attach itself to units hit directly or those who move within the small radius while it is on the ground. Finally, Time Bomb will detonate immediately if another one attaches itself in the same unit, briefly stunning all affected enemies. So this here is a really, really strong ability because it is your main source of damage. You will want to throw this out throughout the lane phase, both to farm minion waves really, really quickly and to harass the enemy. If you do get this bomb on the enemy champion, you will want to use your rewind ability, which is your W, to be able to throw another bomb on top of them, to stun them and do a ton of damage in one single combo. Now next up would be your W, Rewind. When you activate this ability, Zillion will reduce Time Bomb and Time Warp's cooldowns by 10 seconds each. This here is a nice ability because you will be able to pull off your Double Bomb combo, stunning the targets and doing a lot of damage. Of course this will allow you to use your Time Warp a second time as well, which can give yourself or your teammates a lot of mobility. It is great in both scenarios, but usually I will use it to chain bombs together for a really strong stun when going for all ends. And now your E ability, Time Warp. When activated, Zillion bends time around the target champion, slowing enemies for 2.5 seconds or granting allies bonus movement speed for the same duration. Now this here is a really nice ability because you use it to engage or escape. When engaging, you can either use it to slow the enemy champion to make landing bombs a lot easier, or you can speed yourself up to get towards the target to land your bombs. 
Against the more mobile targets, you will want to use it as a slow, but if the target doesn't have much mobility, you can always use it as a speed boost. Then, in those defensive situations, if you are getting ganked by a jungler or you just need to reposition, you can always activate it on yourself or one of your allies so you can easily get to safety. And then finally, we've got your ultimate, Chrono Shift. When activated, Zillion places a protective time rune on the target ally champion or himself, which lasts 5 seconds. If the target takes fatal damage during that time, they are put into stasis for 3 seconds and then revived, regaining a set amount of health. So this is a very, very strong ultimate, and it can completely change team fights. If either yourself or another squishy target on your team gets caught out of position, if you get a really quick chrono shift on the target and they get revived, it can really sway the team fight. In some scenarios, it will require some really quick reaction time, so you have to be paying a lot of attention in team fights to low health targets to make sure you can save them and bring them back to life. For your skill order, you first want to put a point into your ultimate whenever you can at 6, 11, and 16. Then focus on maxing your Q ability as quickly as possible because after all, this is your main source of damage. Next you have the option of maxing either your W or your E second. I personally like to max my W ability second just to have my W available a little bit more often with that reduced cooldown, but the E max is also fantastic. You will get extra movement speed or a slow, which of course is also great. Either way, max your Q ability first and then choose either one second. Now we're going to look at the combos, and first up is the quick double bomb stun. To pull off this combo, you first want to throw your Q on the target and instantly reset your cooldown with your W and throw your second bomb on top of the target. This will instantly stun the target and allow you to get off a lot of damage really, really quickly. And for the other combo, we've got your chain stun. For this combo, you first want to throw a bomb onto the target, and whenever your W is off cooldown, you will want to reactivate it to get your bomb off cooldown. The second part of the combo is having to throw your Q on the target every time the bomb is 3 quarters through. Whenever you see the target at 3 quarters, you will want to throw your bomb onto them to stun them, and like I said before, activate your W for its cooldown whenever you can. During the lane phase, farming is the first thing that's rather important. You'll want to focus on getting as many last hits as possible with both your auto attacks and your time bomb. When you're not focusing on that, of course you will want to be trading. You'll want to try to poke the enemy with your time bomb while also last hitting. Combo two time bombs together with your rewind to get off a stun combo for its really high damage and if you can, fit in some auto attacks. Once you have shoved the lane, you should be looking to roam as well. You can use your time warp and your rewind to get to lanes really really quickly and hopefully you will get off a stun combo when you get there and get yourself some really easy kills and start snowballing. Teamfighting on Zillion is mostly about finding a good opportunity to get a stun combo off on the enemy team. Throw a bomb onto them with your time bomb and then use your rewind to refresh your cooldowns. Then, land another time bomb on top of them to stun the enemy team. A well-placed AoE stun can easily win a team fight. You should then also be using your time warp to give your carries or initiators movement speed so they can get into a fight or help the carries kite. Pay attention to the health of your allies as well because you can save them with a chrono shift. Now let's look at some of your hard matchups, and first up is Annie. The reason Annie is such a hard matchup for you is because her burst damage is insanely high and if she does stun you, usually you won't even be able to get Chrono Shift on yourself before you're dead. Therefore, be very very careful and do not get stunned by Annie because if she all-ins one of your allies, you do have the potential to save them, but if you get caught in the stun, you guys are screwed. For the next hard matchup, I've got LeBlanc. LeBlanc is going to be a pretty hard matchup because she has some insane burst damage and getting off your Chrono Shift before you're dead or one of your allies is actually pretty tough. Therefore, just like against Annie, play in the back lines and play very safe, and if you can, try to get your Chrono Shift on a target she is trying to delete to save them in case they get bursted. For the next hard matchup here, I've got Lux. Lux will be a fairly hard matchup because she can play pretty safe against you, she has longer ranges that can poke you, and you can't really get in range to land your bombs. Your ultimate is fairly strong against your all-in combo, however, so anybody that gets caught by it and is about to get deleted, make sure you save that target and play a little bit safe during the lane phase. And for the last hard matchup here, I've got Vel'Koz. This matchup will play a lot like the Lux one in the fact that you will get outranged, so you have to play a little bit carefully during the lane phase and avoid the poke as much as you can. If you need to, of course make sure you use your time warp to dodge his skill shots whenever you need to. He does have a really strong all-in combo as well, so anybody that gets caught in it, make sure you save them with a chrono shift. Alright, now let's finish this off with the item build, which starts with a Doran's Ring, Health Potions, and Warding Totem. You will have some nice extra tankiness and ability power in that early game, and you'll also get some mana returned on minion kills as well, which will help with your mana in the early stages of the lane. Now as for your core items, you want to go for a Rod of Ages, Ludens Echo, and a Morello Nomicon. You'll get some really nice mana sustain early on from that catalyst, and the Rod of Ages stacks as well, giving you a really nice health pool, mana pool, and you'll have some nice ability power on top of it. 
pretty much everything you want in the early stages of the game as a zillion. You then want to go for the loot in Zekko just to get even more mana sustain and some nice ability power and your first 10% cooldown reduction. You will also get a nice chunk of extra damage from your passive Echo, which is great at harassing the enemies or last hitting. Then finish up your core items by getting Morello Nomicon just to get a little bit tankier with the health it provides and getting some nice damage from the ability power and magic penetration. This item is even stronger against champions who do abuse healing like a Dr. Mundo or a Soraka because of the Grievous Wounds. Now in between these core items, of course you will want to pick up your boots, and you can get Sork Shoes if you need magic penetration, Ionian Boots of Lucidity if you want 10% CDR, and Merc Treads if you're against a hard matchup and you want some magic resist. All are really solid options, I would say Sork Shoes are the default, but all of them work. Now as for that item pool, first would be the Archangel Staff. If you were planning on picking this one up, you would want the tier before you actually go for the Catalyst and the Rod of Ages. It is a pretty solid item because you do get mana regeneration and you do have that shield, but I usually don't pick it up too much on Zillion myself, I prefer just going for Rod of Ages and Luden Echo. Now if you're going for a high AP build, you could always go for Rabadon's Death Cap as well because this increases your ability power by a percentage, and if you want as much AP as possible, you need to pick one up. Then if you need a lot of magic penetration, you would want a Void Staff. You will want to pick one up if the enemy team is building a lot of magic resist so you can get through it and do some damage. If you instead want a really solid defensive, you can go for Zhonya's Hourglass. This is a really solid item because you can activate it to go into stasis, which can increase your survivability by quite a lot. If you then want to increase your chances of getting a pick on a target, you can always go for Twin Shadows. This is a really solid item because you will shoot out ghosts that will slow nearby targets, which will allow you to land the rest of your combo rather easily. For my example fill build though, I go for Rod of Ages, then I pick up my boots, go for Loot and Zekko, Morello Nomicon, and then go for Rabadon's Death Cap and Void Staff. You will have a ton of damage with this build, and you'll also have a decent health pool because of the health on the Rod of Ages and Morello Nomicon. You won't have a defensive item, but as a zillion, you don't really need it because of your ultimate. And that's everything I've got for mid lane zillion. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure you like and subscribe, and visit the video description below. I have a link to all my social medias, and I do also have a Discord server and a second channel that I upload daily to now, so those are some you should definitely check out. But other than that, thank you guys so much for checking out the video. I really do appreciate it. So take it easy, have a good day, and peace.